Thanks, Reid. Last night, um, Fox News ran a chyron that uh, referred to the president as a wannabe dictator. She was never president. She didn't have the powers to declassify. Thank you. There are probably about 787 million things that I can say about this uh, that was wrong uh, about what we saw last night, but I don't think I'm going to get into it. There's no comment the White House has on I think I just commented. Fox News got called out after they aired this Chiron, which labeled one of these speakers a wannabe dictator. And spoiler alert, it wasn't Trump. While Corrine Jean-Pierre did comment on the situation, the interaction aired out differently on Fox News, where they had to cut away to an urgent story. Um, Fox News ran a Chiron that uh, referred to the president as a wannabe dictator, and I'm wondering if the White House has any comment on that. So look, there are probably about 787 million things that I can say about this uh, that was wrong uh, about what we saw last night, but I don't think I'm going to get into it. There's no comment the White House has. I, I think I just commented. All right, so we'll continue to listen for any of the top stories that she might be addressing in that White House press briefing room. Uh, obviously, as uh, major allegations are wages against the current president, uh, obviously after the arrest of the former president, Donald Trump, uh, we are going to get back in there. Our reporters in the room, and we'll certainly continue to monitor for news out of the White House. A Florida family was caught off guard after discovering a massive crocodile made itself a home in their pool at two o'clock in the morning. It's not the first time the network has had to cut away from a guest or speaker. In fact, it's pretty frequent. And the president manipulated the media better than any candidate I've ever he seen. And the message. media assisted by covering those rallies of his like they were breaking news every single night because they were waiting to see if he said something ridiculous, which he did often. And he did that no, on purpose, No, they covered him because no one has ever around, had crowds take, like that. Gonna, and that's the end of that. Lisa Booth, Chris Hines, thanks so much. But I don't think you can ignore the January 6th hearings last night in the context of this conversation because it's incredibly you, you important. You know what I think? Was I think that we a, can stay focused on the fact that we're history. waiting for the congressman to come up and we are going to talk about this particular case. We should be talking about the January 6th hearings that go again live <laughs> that this network failed to cover because I tell you what, the real fight is for democracy. The real fight is for the soul and the real is that your network won't cover it. Whoa, 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 whoa. We covered it plenty. We just aired it on the Fox Not Business Network. We sent it to out all of our Fox stations. Fox Business Dude, Network. Dude, you're going to come on my, here. My, my, Let me my, set my, the my. record straight. And there's a video on the Senate floor that is despicable. Okay, I'll reach out and to the crew to see what he has to say about that. Uh, here, here's what caught my ear yesterday. You said, I'm used to it, it's okay, but what I'm not used to is to the cruelty.